Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day today, a great Wednesday. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. We're going to be doing a guide, a tutorial. Something I don't normally do on this channel is record and post. I like to do all my talking while I'm playing the game. But today, we're going to be doing a guide, and I thought it would be better to do some recording in post. I've been playing Smite for about two years now, on and off, but recently I've gotten really into it, and some of my community members have been wanting to get into the game and learn how to play it, so I thought I'd start off by making a tutorial on the most basic mode, Arena. In order to understand Smite Arena, you must first understand the contents of the map. There are six very important things displayed on the map that will help you understand and win Arena games. The first thing you want to understand is the fountain. The fountain is your team's home base. This is where you'll spawn in, buy items, and regen your health and mana. Entering the enemy team's fountain will damage you extremely quickly and most likely kill you, so I would strongly advise not entering this area whenever possible. The next important POI is displayed by the phoenix icons. These phoenix icons represent turrets. These turrets will damage enemy players when they enter within their boundaries. They do lots of damage, so once again, I would strongly advise against playing underneath the opponent's phoenixes or turrets. However, use these phoenixes on your side to your advantage to defend yourself from enemies when you are low on health, low on mana, or just trying to retreat back to your fountain. The next POI is the portal. This is the main objective of the game is to escort your minions into the enemy's portal without them dying. We'll get into that a little bit later. The three other very important POIs are displayed in the jungle camp. The jungle is where your team can farm buffs. The first buff that you're going to take a look at is the blue buff, which is the mana buff. The mana buff provides extra mana to a god on your team or whoever picks up the buff. Usually this buff is picked up by a mage, but it depends on the scenario. This buff also does other things for the god who picks it up, but they're a little more advanced. The next buff is the red buff, or the damage buff. The main purpose of this buff is to increase the amount of damage a god does when they pick it up. Once again, this buff does other things, but they're a little advanced for this video. Remember, this is just a beginner's guide. The third and final buff is the purple buff, or the attack speed buff. The main purpose of this buff is to increase the attack speed of the god that picks it up. This will usually be picked up by a hunter. The buff also does other things, but once again, those are a little more advanced. Now, let's get into the actual gameplay. When you spawn into the game, you're going to be located in your fountain. When you're in your fountain, it is strongly recommended that you use your 1500 gold given to you at the beginning of the match to buy some items. There are multiple videos on building gods and what you should build at the beginning of games versus the end of games. Let me know if you would like me to make a video on that, but we're not going to really get into that for this beginner guide. You will then move to the jungle camp on the left side of your fountain. This isn't always a for sure thing, but this is how most Smite players do it. You will help your team take down the jungle monsters to get the buffs for your team. And then you will move to the center of the arena and start attacking the minions and enemy gods. The main objective of this game mode is to lower the opponent's ticket count from 500 to 0. There are several ways you can do this. One way you can lower the opponent's ticket count is by killing their minions. Killing an enemy minion will decrease the enemy ticket count by one ticket. Another way you can decrease the enemy's ticket count is by killing an enemy god. Killing an enemy god will result in a 5 ticket decrease to their team. Another way you can decrease the opponent's ticket count is by escorting your minions into the other team's portal. Each minion that enters the other team's portal will decrease their ticket count by 1. The fourth and final way you can decrease an opponent's ticket count is with a very special thing called a siege minion. Once a team has secured 10 kills, a siege minion will spawn. This minion's main purpose is to just move to the opponent's portal. 
this siege minion has way more health and does more damage than a regular minion. If you manage to escort this siege minion to the opponent's portal, it will decrease their ticket count by a whopping 10 tickets. That's humongous. Once the enemy team or your team have had their ticket count decreased to zero, the game will end. It is very common courtesy to say GG in the chat to your team, whether you win or lose. Once the game is over, you will go to the commendation screen. The commendation screen is where you can either commend your team for being friendly, being good at teamwork, or being a good guy. I usually like to commend my team for being good team players every single time, unless I notice that they were specifically very friendly or specifically a very good guy. I hope you guys have a really great experience with the Smite community, and I'm super glad that I was able to be a part of your journey into joining the Smite community. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you stuck around to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And if I missed anything in this video that you think is important for anyone who's beginning or even has played for a little bit and hasn't maybe played an arena game in a while, to know, let me know in the comments section. Start a conversation with me. I want to get better at the game, and I know everyone who clicked on this video also wants to get better at the game. And also, let me know if you want me to make a tutorial on another game mode, a specific god, a specific item. Please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. I really love this game, and I want to make content that you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.